Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos and Genos Tipsters, and I wanted to go through some of the differences the new SX900 has to the Genos. The Genos came out November 17, so it's been out for a little while now, and the SX900 just being launched has got uh, many of the features of Genos, but it has got a few cutback features too, which I want to explain to you. So first of all, we'll start off with the keyboard. The keyboard on the Genos is 76 notes, six and a quarter octaves and on the SX900 it's a 61 note 5 octave keyboard so there's no there's no choice on both and that's how you get them 5 octaves on the SX900 and 76 on the uh, Genos. Super Articulation 2 is another great effect which Genos gives you it's not on the SX900 so the, the Articulation 2 means that you get some extra uh, touch controls and they're on sounds like flugelhorn, saxophone, clarinet and you'll get more control with your playability on the, uh, the feature. But with the 900, you just get super articulation, which is still really good. You just miss a few of those really great sounds that the Genos offers you. Uh, another simple difference, the uh, assignable buttons, the ones that you can use to allocate a certain adjustment on the keyboard, touch of a button to a certain section. There are seven on the Genos and just six on the SX900. Now, the Genos also has what's called an FSX keyboard. The keyboard is uh, a great keyboard feel-wise, but it has aftertouch. The SX900 doesn't have the aftertouch. Uh, storage is a big difference as well. On the Genos you get 58 gigabytes of memory, whereas on the SX900 it's just 4 gigabytes. Expansion memory is different too. On the Genos you've got 2 gig of expansion memory, just 1 gig on the SX900. Now one of the things that currently is different uh, on the SX900 is they brought a new looper feature. The looper is brilliant for looping chords. Every registration um, memory of each bank gives you the option of eight different chord sequences. And these are great. You can have a chorus, a verse, a middle eight. You could have uh, a, a whole choice of songs built into each registration button. And once you've played the chord sequence in once, that stays in the memory. And you can keep going back and looping different ones in order. It's just a touch of a button and the, the chord sequence starts again. You can even play back the chord sequence, change the tempo or the um, transposition and you can um, jump between styles. So there's loads of things you can do within that chord sequence and that's something which the Genos currently doesn't have. Now there is a, a firmware update coming out in October and we're hoping to see that the um, Genos then gets the looper still as well. But at the moment it will just be the 900 that has this new feature. It's the sort of thing you see Ed Sheeran using the looper pedal to bring parts together and um, it means that you can, you can perhaps put a chord sequence in and then play over the top with the piano or, or use other sounds and, and play again um, or think about changing uh, your controls while you're playing. So the, the looper is a very clever new feature that at the moment just the 900 will have. So the Genos gives you six assignable knobs and that allows you to go through and change frequencies, uh, part of your EQ, you can change the resonance of, and the attack and the decay of sounds. So you've got quite a lot of control and you can have six at one time together available to adjust on the, on the panel. Now on the uh, SX900 you only have two, so you've got a little bit less available to be able to control as you're playing without going into different menus. So the internal memory is 8 gig on the Genos, it's 4 on the SX900, so again bigger memory capacity for the Genos. And you've more outputs too, the, the sub-outs, which are the auxiliary outs on the Genos, you've got four of them, SX900 just two. So the Genos is renowned for its fantastic drums, the Revo drums. They're, they're drums which give you a different bar sound every time it goes through a sequence. Each bar, each snare drum sound, bass drum sound is going to be slightly different, just because a real drummer doesn't sound exactly the same every time he hits the snare drum. Each of these uh, hits on the skin are going to make a little bit different sound. So they've actually made that part of the, the, the variations on the drum kit, so Revo drums on Genos are really, really clever. Now the, um, the way they're wording it is that they've derived the new drums on the SX900 from the Revo drum sounds, but it won't give you the same variations that you've had on the Genos. And finally, the sounds of the Genos will be better. The DSP power is far more and the, the digital effects built into the sounds, the extra articulation sounds, the super articulation two voices, the Revo drums, it overall is a better keyboard. The, the baby Genos, the, the SX900 is 
phenomenal uh, for the price, for the touch screen, for the speakers. You'll be so impressed with what it does. But I think the Genos will always have a place as the, the flagship model. So all in all, the Genos is definitely the top keyboard in the range. It's a great instrument with loads of extra features. The SX900 is a great baby brother, and I would welcome you to try it and see for yourself. I hope you found the video useful. Our website, epianos.co.uk, has links to far more videos. And if you want more help, give us an email or uh, phone us on 0191 257 1666. So we'd be pleased to have a chat and give you more information.